Welcome everybody to ISS Pro Evolution 2. I'm Senozoic and I'm playing through this game's Master League mode as Borussia Dortmund. Today is a special day as I have reached the final day of the season and I have the chance to win the Master League. My record after 29 games of the season is that I have won 19 and drawn 10 with no losses for a total of 67 points. I have a two point lead over the team in second place which is fellow German club Bayern Munich, referred to in the game as Munchen, so everything has come right down to the wire. My fate is in my own hands, however, as if I win my last match, I will win the league. My 30th and final game of the season is against Barcelona, who are currently in 5th place, while Bayern are taking on bottom of the league Fiorentina, referred to in the game as Firenze. Let's head over to my match. The teams are coming out and I have one key change in my formation to report. I'm going to do something a little different in this match to the majority of my games this season, which is to play Gabriel Batistuta as my lone striker rather than Andrei Shevchenko. The Barcelona team of the time of the game's release in 2001 was very strong indeed and I'm certainly going to have my work cut out getting the final win I need to take me to the Master League title. So it's time to kick off and I'll speak to you again at half time.
Well, I'm pleased to be talking to you at half-time, 1-0 up in a very lively game. I've created a number of goal-scoring chances, but the one Gabriel Batistuta actually converted was brilliant, turning Barcelona defender Abelardo inside out to break free and stroke home a finish that was bristling with confidence. As the other half-time scores pass through there, we can see that Bayern Munich against Fiorentina is goalless. So, as things stand, everything is going according to plan for me. Let's hope things stay that way, and it's now time to rejoin the action. I'll speak to you again at full time.
Well, I've done it. I've won the Master League, thanks to today's victory against Barcelona. One goal was all that was required in the end, and whilst I had chances to increase my advantage, I am delighted with my defensive performance in the second half, in which I kept Barca at bay and calmly saw out the game. As I mentioned before kickoff, I played Gabriel Batistuta as my lone striker rather than Andrei Shevchenko, and on this occasion, my regular goalscorer Shevchenko turned provider by playing in Batistuta, who scored what turned out to be the game's only and decisive goal. Bayern Munich were held to a one-all draw against Fiorentina, so as things turned out I could have lost today's match and I still would have won the league, but it's much more satisfying to have won on the day and to boldly claim the title. I'll speak to you again after the trophy presentation. So a 1-0 win there, which means I gain a final 9 transfer points. And I also gain 3 league points, taking me to a final total of 70. That result was my 20th win of the season, and most significantly, I managed to go the entire season of 30 games undefeated. It says something about the challenge level of this game that runners-up Bayern Munich also won 20 games and the league championship went right down to the last day, even though I had played 29 games unbeaten. Now that we have reached the end of the season, it's time to take a look at the performance charts. 37 goals sees my Dortmund player Andrei Shevchenko claim the golden boot as the league's top scoring player, ahead of Bayern Munich's Giovanni Elba on 32 and Lazio's Claudio Lopez on 31. And another of my players, Gabriel Batistuta, tops the table for assists, having set up 17 goals, one more than runner-up Rivaldo of Barcelona. So, an eventful and enjoyable season for me and Borussia Dortmund. Over the time I have been playing ISS Pro Evolution 2, I've greatly improved at the game and my tactics and approach remain valid. This includes playing with five defenders so that you avoid being overrun and cultivating a counter-attacking style which is based around having fast forward players who can capitalise on breaks. Something of this approach is reflected in the league table here, where, similar to my first season of Master League play, I was not the highest scoring team, and the games I won were generally settled by no more than a goal or two, but I did have by far the best defence. Looking at ISS Pro Evolution 2 as a whole, we do have a game here that takes some time to master, and even when you might think you're an expert at it, you will find yourself getting completely outclassed by the computer-controlled teams. At the time of the game's release in 2001, EA's best-selling FIFA series, complete with accurate leagues, players and stadiums, was predominant, but from a gameplay perspective, I have to join with the chorus of praise for ISS Pro Evolution 2, which places it as the best football game for the original PlayStation, and arguably one of the best football games ever made. It has been brilliant to complete a Master League win in the game's 20th anniversary year, and every time I have played I have noticed some new aspect of the gameplay or details of unique player animations which really make this game something worth celebrating. 
So, all that remains for me to say as we reach the end of this Master League series is that I hope you have enjoyed following my progress and seeing this classic football game in action has helped bring back your own special memories. I'm Senesoic. Thanks for watching.